Now, I did a riff lesson on this song a few years ago, covering the verse riff, and now I'm going to be covering the intro riff, the harmonies specifically. The first guitar part starts off with the low E, played open, the 10th fret of A, and the 9th fret of D. <laughs> And then we have some legato, where we're going to play the 7th fret of D, hammer on, the 9th fret of D, and then pull off back to the 7th fret of D, and then finish on the 7th fret of A. Just like that, played more slowly. And that's the end of the bar. Bar number 2 starts off with the 9th fret of A, and then you're going to move down to the E string, 10, 7, and 8. And then we have another hammer on, this time starting on the 7th fret of low E, hammering onto the 8th fret, and then playing the 9th fret of A. So bars 1 and 2. Bar number 3 is the same as bar 1. And now on the 4th bar, the ending changes. We're going to be in the 10th fret of low E, the 8th fret, and then trilling on the 7th fret. Trilling is just fast hammer-ons and pull-offs. And this is how we end the 4th bar. So bars 1 to 4. And then the whole riff repeats, except the ending changes. What we're going to do is play 10, 8, and 7, and then just slide down instead of trilling. All eight bars. guitar number two. So it starts off with the low E and then it plays the seventh fret on A and then the tenth fret. And the next two notes, eighth fret on low E, then tenth fret on A. Bar number two starts off with the seventh fret of low E and then you play the ninth fret and the tenth fret on the A string. And then we have more legato playing, a hammer on and a pull off, starting on the 9th fret of A, hammering on the 10th fret, then pulling off back to the 9th fret. And then we finish the bar by playing the 10th fret on the low E. And then the next repeat, bar 3 is the same as bar number 1. But bar 4 is just ever so slightly different where we finish on the 9th fret of D. So I'm going to play all four bars of guitar number 2. And this riff just repeats twice round. 